good evening or late afternoon, everyone. It is a very distinct pleasure and honor to welcome you here today. I'm Mark Winston. I'm a uh, senior fellow here at the Center for Dialogue and uh, am very excited about the uh, evening's festivities. Uh, first, I, it is truly an honor to recognize that we are here on the unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, the Tsleil-Waututh, the Musqueam, and the Squamish. And it's particularly important to recognize that this evening, as we'll be hearing from two mayors who have been very um, aware and very involved in making sure the indigenous peoples of this area have a real presence in the city and in terms of the city government. And um, so I'm particularly gratified to be able to recognize uh, the important role of First Peoples, uh, and not only in the past, but also today. Uh, I was asked to say a couple of words about the Center for Dialogue before um, turning it over to our moderator. And I thought the best way to do that was to tell you a couple of stories, uh, one each, about our two mayors that have to do with the Center for Dialogue. The Center sees itself as a place for nonpartisan conversation, a place where people can listen to each other, where we really try to implement the principles of dialogue and respect and inclusiveness. And um, one of our cornerstones, maybe the cornerstone of the center, certainly one of the founding, was the role that students play and the way that we try to engage students in, in being inspired to take part in civic events. Uh, the first story I want to tell you is about Mike. And uh, he was one of our guests in a very early semester in Dialogue, the program that we have. It's a semester-long program that engages students in public issues. And uh, the issue that he came in to talk about was the freeway, or rather the lack of freeways in the city of Vancouver. And uh, I want to tell you, it's a very, he told, as he told the story, it was very long and involved. And, uh, he may mention some of those things tonight, but I want to tell you about a particular moment. He spent maybe half an hour talking with the students about the whole history of the freeway controversy, who wanted it, who didn't want it, how he became involved and eventually ran for city council in part to deal with the, um, uh, the city, the, uh, the freeway issue. And I got to the end of this wonderful description of what had happened in the, um, in the lead up to, um, to the, during the freeway controversy. And he got to the key moment. He said, after many, many discussions, many, many votes, a lot of politicking, you know, a lot of controversy, it finally came down. One night, city council had to take the final vote. At the end of this vote, the freeway was going to happen, or the freeway wasn't going to happen. And he looked around at the 20 students in this room, and I swear, he looked every single one of them in the eye. And then he said, and the vote was six to five against. If anyone thinks that one person can't make a difference. <laughs> it was a really a pivotal moment in those students' lives. Many of them went from, I don't kind of really don't care about public stuff, to, wow, I can make a difference. And, um, I always remember that moment because it really inspired me to continue to try to engage students in civic events and, and to recognize that each of us can indeed make a difference. Uh, jumped ahead a number of years and now have the, um, the Gregor mayorality in place. And um, the city has um, generously helped to sponsor a student-driven program called City Studio. City Studio was inspired by a couple of Semester in Dialogue teachers uh, who proposed that students be embedded in the city for a semester and work with the city to uh, study, advance, propose interesting and exciting ideas. Uh, the idea caught fire uh, and largely uh, due to Gregor's support has become a very substantive and active part of the city involving not only SFU but six post-secondary institutions. Many of you have seen the pianos that populate our city every summer. I'm sure you've all seen the pianos. There was one day I remember walking through the city, and within about 20 minutes, I came across three different pianos. People were playing and have been placed. What you may not know 
is the first pianos here in Vancouver were a city studio project. Students got that idea and they put one or two pianos out. The idea took off and now it's part of the complexion of our city. I go around giving talks about the um, Center for Dialogue often, often at other universities. And I have you know, slides that I use. And one of my favorites is a picture of Gregor sitting at one of the pianos on a bright summer day next to a couple of students, huge smiles on their faces, people surrounding them. To me, it epitomizes the attitude that Gregor has brought to his, his uh, role as mayor, being really deeply embedded in improving the life of the city. I don't know what they were playing. In fact, I'm not even sure you actually played the piano. I'm imagining they were playing chopsticks or one of those types of things. But to me, it's just a beautiful moment, exemplifying how students can really make an impact, not five years from now, not 10 years from now, but today, even as their students. And if there's anything that to me exemplifies the Center for Dialogue, it's putting students into those important roles now so they can understand the importance of civic involvement and leadership. So I'm going to turn the program over to our moderator for the evening, Janet Weber, who I am very pleased to say was a student in the semester dialogue. That's how she became slowly involved in our orbit. Uh, since then, she became involved as a very early uh, staff member in SFU's Public Square program and is now the executive director of Public Square. If you don't know Public Square, it's one of SFU's prime um, programs to engage with community. Uh, every year they have a community summit, many other events, city conversations, all designed to create dialogue, innovative ways of citizens talking to citizens, um, challenging and interesting programming for students. Uh, it's highly inclusive highly exciting, a lot of energy. Just finished a community summit for this year, and many of you probably saw or heard or were at some of the events. And much of what you see there is due to the uh, vision and work of Janet Weber. So it is a pleasure to um, turn the program over to our modern creator for the evening, and to personally thank our two mayors for uh, joining us. Thank you.